Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog channel. It is your favorite streamer slash vlogger. It's me, it's Asta. Today, I'm actually gonna go into the city. So I kinda am looking for some stuff for TwitchCon San Diego, which is in October. I just kinda wanna be early. So I wanna take a look in Stockholm to see if I can find anything. So I'm taking you guys with me. We're gonna take the train and we're gonna walk around Stockholm and I'm gonna show you guys, um, well, the city, I guess. So I hope you guys enjoy. Can you guys believe that I just left my apartment and I forgot my wallet? Because I can. It's a classic Asta move. So, gotta go back. Okay, so I just arrived and it's actually like 2 p.m. right now. So I think I'm gonna go up and check out Muji and then I'm probably gonna get some food because it's like a really good restaurant up here. So I'll do Muji first and I'll show you guys because it's one of my favorite um, interior like organization stores ever and then I'll get some some food from this Italian restaurant up here which is really nice I've never been to but I've heard really good things about it so I'll show you guys so right now I'm like in the main mall it's called Olians and it's like in the center of Stockholm and this is the only place that has this store but it's like a Japanese kind of like organization and like interior designing store These boxes are my favorite thing ever for organization. I have like two of these and I had to carry them on the train. And this is like what I do for my shoes. They're really good because you can stack them and they're super lightweight and you can like just pull them out so you don't like there's no lid. Super nice. I highly recommend. Oh my god, these are um, the big lint rollers that I have for Whiskey's hair. They're really good. Lifesaver. I use them for like my bed and then also like my sofa. And without those, my apartment would just be filled with cat hair everywhere. They're so good and really cheap. And then they give you like, like you kind of just like refill them with these. So it's super good. On the website, it actually said that the pizza oven was broken, so now I don't really know what I want. Also, I'm definitely gonna try the... I think this is like a homemade lemonade. I don't think I'm gonna do a cocktail today. <laughs> I'm alone and it's 2 p.m., so... But the lemonade looks really good. So this is gonna be like my first meal of the day. I didn't have any breakfast or anything, so we'll see. Um, probably gonna go with the pasta. So I got like the truffle pasta, and it has almonds in it. And it's supposed to be really creamy. Then I got the lemonade with um, mint and strawberry. So we're gonna try this out and see how it is. It looks really good. It smells really good. I feel like a food critic. It's so fucking good. It is so creamy. So good. I love lemonades and I love mojitos, so this is perfect. 10 out of 10, recommend if you're ever in Stockholm. For sure. Okay, so I'm looking at the bags, but I'm kind of like very underwhelmed. I want like a mini backpack. This is cute, but I want it to be small and I want it to be kind of like structured because I want it to kind of like not be in the way. These are all too big. I'm like not impressed. <laughs> so I think this is a no. Probably gonna have to go somewhere else. I'm supposed to be looking for a TwitchCon outfit, but I'm getting distracted. Oh my god. Should I get this for um, TwitchCon? And just have like people take pictures? Or like one of these, actually. Re yeah, reusable camera. I should get one for TwitchCon and get a lot of pics. Okay, so I'm at Urban Outfitters right now, and honestly, I have not found anything that I like. I also just came from Zara and they had absolutely nothing. And I just kind of like forgot how bad online or like IRL shopping is. 
and because I, I pretty much only do online shopping nowadays. And honestly, I have to pee. I'm too hot. Uh, I have to carry everything. But I, I'm, I'm thirsty, but I can't have more water because I need to pee. And I'm just... <laughs> I'm just not having it. So I'm gonna go to another mall, which is like a little more high-end mall, and look for the backpack. But honestly, if I don't find an outfit and if I don't find a backpack, I'm just gonna go home and um, order it online instead because I just feel like there's such a bigger, just a bigger option online of items. So I'm not really getting anywhere and I'm just walking around looking at nothing. Oh my god, I just got home. Oh, after a long day in Stockholm. It feels a lot longer than it was, actually. I went into Sephora for like two minutes, and then I went right out. Our Sephora here in Stockholm, Sweden in general, is like really bad. We don't have any of the like really good brands, uh, like Low Recipe. I really want to try, is it Klaus, 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 which is like a, a new brand that has been blowing up. I really want to try. We just kind of like don't get the brands that are kind of like blowing up around the world, which sucks. But um, I was in there for like five minutes, walked out, and then I went into... Actually, the last clip you guys saw is probably Balenciaga because I went into that fancy, fancy mall I told you guys about. But um, I ended up just walking around there and like literally not finding anything at all. I don't understand when they stopped producing backpacks because literally no store had a backpack at all. Like, it, and I went into like only bag store as well and like nothing. So I'm probably gonna order something. Uh, mission failed, definitely disappointed. I couldn't remember how bad the um, the stores are nowadays in Stockholm. Like just like in general going out, out and shopping. If you don't like have one specific item that you know that you're gonna buy, it's such a waste of time to just like walk around. Or is it just like always like when you have money to spend, you never find anything. But when you have, um, like when you're trying to save money, you just kind of want to buy everything. You find so much shit that you want to buy. Maybe that's just me. I guess it was just kind of like I was hoping for it to be more productive. It's still good. A good day and i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog i guess it's more of like a day in stockholm with me more than just like anything specific it was fun to vlog for my first time alone it's definitely a little bit awkward i felt embarrassed a couple of times because people were definitely looking people are not really used to people filming and making content like out in the streets in sweden it's not that common as it is in like california for example you know like la but i feel like i did okay i'm proud of myself so hopefully i got some good bits for the vlog and you guys enjoyed it yeah i know i say that i'm gonna post a lot more every uh vlog that i do but i am really trying i will soon very 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 soon actually start my new vlog series which is gonna be moving vlogs so i actually got noticed that my passport is done my american passport is officially done and it's being shipped to me so now i'm gonna start and get rid of stuff and like actually pack and just kind of like decide on what's coming with me and what is not to the US. So that series is gonna start quite soon because I'm gonna take you with the whole process of like actually getting rid of my, my furniture and packing stuff up and all that jazz. And then of course, when I fly over and when I'm there and get settled in. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that because I really am. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.